before conducting the main drain test, we want to make sure that the water can discharge outside and is not obstructed in any way or cause a problem. We can see here the pipe comes out, goes right onto the driveway, not an issue whatsoever as far as draining. Begin the inspection by a visual, noticing that the fire department connection coming from outside is all intact and it has a check valve and goes directly into the riser, the main riser. The sprinkler cabinet has the required six heads and the wrench to change a head, special wrench it is required. Then visualize the valves, the valves are open and the switches are all good. Everything is good, has a proper signage. We now move to the main drain test and the purpose of the main drain test is to test the water to make sure we have adequate flow into the system. The very uh, beginning of the test is performed by the contractor and that is noting the static pressure on the system. So the contractor will both visually look at and document the static pressure. 55. So we have 55 pounds of static pressure and you'll notice that he documented on a form that was here before. On this tag, it shows the past performance, so that gives us an idea what we've done in the past. So an important part of this test is to make sure that documentation is left upon completion of that and completed as we go. So as we come around the system, we see the valve here. The location of the valve is important because it's below the flow switch. Now, technically, Opening this valve should not give you an alarm, an activated alarm, because again, it is below the flow switch. However, I can tell you from experience that it does occur a time. Um, so you both want to notify the building occupants and the alarm company that they may receive an alarm. Um, so with that, you'll then follow the valve and you see that this piping goes through the wall. That goes outside. That goes outside. So you want to make sure before you begin the test that everything's free and clear outside. You're not going to do any damage or cause any problems with a large amount of water that's going to flow from this test naturally. Now there are times when this piping will go right down to the floor to a main drain and in that case you want to make sure that the drain is able to handle the flow of the system and make sure it's clear in the area because water will splash. But uh, that's two different types of system. This one is outside. We've already been outside and made sure that everything is free and clear. So with that we'll turn it over to the contractor to open the valve and then note the residual pressure, and then at the completion, making sure the static pressure comes back up close to what it was before. Fifty pounds. So fifty pounds residual. So in this system, we started with with fifty five pounds of static pressure, went down to fifty pounds residual pressure. So we note that and check our documentation to make sure that that is still an adequate flow for this system, and make sure documentation is left behind. Now that the testing is completed, it's now important to put the alarm system back in service. So I'll call the dispatch agency who monitors the alarm. Hello, this is alarm position 1010. We've completed testing and the alarm system can be back in full service. Yes, full service. Thank you. Please visit firesprinklertesting.org for more information.